Taking care of climate change is crucial for the health and well-being of our planet's inhabitants. As the Earth's temperature continues to rise, we're seeing severe consequences such as melting polar ice caps, devastating natural disasters, and unpredictable weather patterns. The impact on ecosystems, wildlife, and human societies is already being felt, from declining air and water quality to increased spread of diseases and economic losses. If left unchecked, climate change could lead to catastrophic food and water shortages, displacement of communities, and loss of biodiversity. However, by taking action to reduce our carbon footprint, investing in renewable energy, and adopting sustainable practices, we can slow the pace of climate change and create a more livable and resilient future for generations to come. It requires a collective effort and commitment to protect the planet, but the benefits of a healthier, more sustainable world will be worth it. The main greenhouse gases responsible for global warming are carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases. Carbon dioxide is the most prevalent greenhouse gas, and it accounts for about 65% of global warming. Methane is the second most important greenhouse gas, with a global warming potential 25 times higher than CO2 over a 100-year time period. Nitrous oxide has a global warming potential 273 times higher than CO2. Fluorinated gases, synthetic greenhouse gases used in products like refrigerators and air conditioners, have a global warming potential up to 17,200 times higher than CO2. I'm Ivanka Sankasari, a high school student from Minnesota, and I'm passionate about climate and sustainability. As we know, methane is about 25 times more effective at trapping heat in the atmosphere compared to carbon dioxide. This means that even though methane doesn't stay in the atmosphere as long as CO2, its immediate impact on global warming is much more intense. Methane emissions come from various sources, including natural processes and human activities. Key sources include wetlands, which produce methane naturally, and human-related activities, like fossil fuel extraction, landfills, and notably agriculture. Within agriculture, livestock and dairy farming are significant contributors. So, how do dairy and livestock contribute to methane emissions? When cows and other ruminants digest food, they produce methane through a process called enteric fermentation. This methane is then released into the atmosphere primarily through belching. Additionally, manure management and livestock operations can produce methane especially when manure is stored in anaerobic conditions without oxygen, like lagoons or pits. To mitigate these emissions, there are many things that farmers and livestock producers can do. They can improve feed quality and digestibility to reduce methane production, use feed additives that inhibit methane formation, implement manure management systems that capture and utilize methane, like biogas systems, and apply conservation practices that reduce the amount of manure stored in anaerobic conditions. By addressing methane emissions from dairy and livestock farming, we can make a significant impact on reducing greenhouse gas emissions and mitigating climate change. In my pursuit of reducing climate change from greenhouse gas emissions, I'm starting an initiative called Methane Matters. I'm focusing on methane because it's a potent greenhouse gas that's often overlooked, yet it has a profound impact on the environment. Through Methane Matters, I aim to raise awareness, educate communities, and inspire action to reduce methane emissions. By focusing on methane, we can achieve rapid and measurable progress in the fight against global warming. My initiative will provide resources, support, and advocacy to help individuals, businesses, and governments take action and make a tangible difference in mitigating climate change. Methane Matters is a source for information and insights on the critical role methane plays in climate change. As a key contributor to global warming, methane's impact cannot be ignored, and it's essential we take collective action to reduce its emissions. On this channel, we'll explore the latest research, technologies, and policies aimed at mitigating methane's effects and go over practical solutions and success stories from around the world. Join us as we raise awareness, spark conversations, and inspire action to address this environmental challenge. 
Whether you're a climate enthusiast, researcher, policymaker, or just simply someone concerned about the future of our planet, Methane Matters is your trusted resource for staying informed and making a difference. Let's work together towards a more sustainable future. <laughs>